In this fast-paced video, I will walk you through the markets pull-down menu and all of its features that you can find on the main page of TradingView. This video is part of a multi-part series where I walk you through the entire TradingView platform to inform you of its features. Hopefully you will discover some new features or tips that you weren't aware of, and this will make you an overall better trader in the end. So let's get started right away. As the name implies, the market menu gives you access to all the information that TradingView can provide you about all the trading markets in the world. And some more. The first item on the menu is the entire world overview. It is actually the same page that gets opened if you just click on the top markets menu itself. The page that gets opened is a one glance overview of all the information that is currently within the other link menu in the markets menu. Each section starts with a header that on and by itself is also a link to the detailed page on that subject. So if I click on the indices section here, it opens up a overview page that contains more information. You can click on the major indices to see their current charts here, and these buttons also have multiple links too. So if I click on the circle, then the chart opens, but if I click on the actual name, the information page of that index opens up for further information drill down. The current chart that you see shows you the daily chart. But you can also choose to see the 5 day chart, 1 month, 6 month time frame, and so on. This chart can also be embedded on your own website via this code button. It opens up a new page containing the javascript code for the symbol overview widget. You have to copy and paste this into your own web page code to make it work. I will show you later how it works, but for now let's continue with the markets page. Below left here are some other buttons that enable you to change the chart from an area plot to a candles plot. And you can also make this plot cover your entire screen with this full chart view button. This button actually makes this chart open in a new tab in the super chart view. And from there you can do a more detailed analysis on the market. If you click on the arrow button here, you can also find a see all indices button. And by clicking on this button, it takes you to the all indices section of the market indices. Now if you would have clicked on the world indices on the markets page, then you would have come to the same markets indices subpage again, but then on the major world indices tab. Let me take a step back again to the markets page again. The initial plot and its indices are mostly oriented towards the American market. But if you look at the markets anywhere here, you also see something that has to look like an arrow down button. If you click on it, you get a choice menu with all the markets that are supported by TradingView. From here, you can open your own preferred market. For example, in my case, the Dutch market. You also get to this page if you go to the markets menu, then select countries and then the country of your choice, if it is included in the selection of major markets. And if not, then you know how to select your own market with the menu I showed you just now. As you might have guessed, the countries menu also shows you the major indices per country and by clicking on one of them, you open the information page of this specific index. Now I showed you earlier what you can expect on this page in an earlier video, so I will not go into much detail at the moment, but as you can see, almost everything is intertwined within the platform. Back on the main markets page again, you see below the world indices, another somewhat more clear link to the same market indices page as when you had clicked on the world indices header itself. Scrolling down further below, in this case you see the more important US stocks. And if you would have selected your own country, then the more important stocks of your country would appear here. Below is the chart of the price evolvement over the current day, and you see that you have the same option as the indices plot above. A breakdown in different timescales, code for embedding the plot, plot type selection and the link to the superchart. Going to the right with this button, you finally get to the option to open the All US Stocks page, which is actually the same page as when you clicked directly on the US Stocks header here. Below the stocks overview, you get to the community trend overview, which shows you the stocks that are currently most discussed in their respective community session. You can click on these symbols to directly go to the information page you see over here. Below this community trend section starts a whole range of overview tables that also represent the summaries of the links that you will find in the assets section in the markets menu. The markets menu will give you direct access to the main trading vehicle indexes. And also different views and breakdown of the assets per index, like large caps, top gainers, top losers, largest companies, per dividend, mostly traded, per supply, region, exotics, economic indexes, and much, much more. Almost all of these menu and submenu items are also in some form of way shown on this page from here on to. All these headers are also clickable so that you can access directly the page by clicking on these links as well. 
So when I scroll down here, uh, there are selections with volume stocks, volatility, gainers and losers, earnings calendars and the world stocks. A section of the world stocks with an overview of the world's biggest companies, largest employers and their earnings reports in a calendar. Then an ETF section with information and community trends, most traded ETFs, highest growth, highest returns and dividend yields. A crypto selection with the largest crypto, also community trends about the section, market cap, TVL, rankings and largest gainers and losers. Then there's the forex section with majors and currency indexes, a section about futures and commodities with different overviews like the energy futures, agricultural futures, metal futures and index futures. There are bonds with US bonds and EU bonds. And finally at the end of this page some economic indicators here as well with a nice heat map that shows you the overheating or uh, overcooling of certain economies and an economic calendar. And I almost forgot to mention that above this page you can also see the divisions of this complete page in its subselections. So you can directly click on the sections you are most interested in. Now there's only one thing in the markets menu that is not shown on this very informational and somewhat overwhelming page and that is the sparks menu. Let me open the all sparks page to show you what these actually are and what you can do with them. According to TradingView, sparks are curated watch lists to kickstart your market research. And the intention of these Sparks pages is to give you some inspiration to start a certain type of research when you start to feel a little bit overwhelmed by the information this platform can offer you. Also, if you don't know your way around the platform, but you wonder if there is another asset class, sector, geography, theme or trend that might provide you with trading or investment opportunities, then Sparks can be a form of inspiration for you as well. For example, if you want to YOLO into meme stocks because you have too much money and time on your hands, then there is a spark for that as well. So next to Elon Musk's interests, which not seem to be performing so well, there is a meme stocks sparks page. Opening that page provides you with the following information. First of all, there is a nice description with the intention and some background information. And the stocks that will be shown below can also be directly added to your watch list with this button. Or you can share this page with your friends to make them enthusiastic about your excellent choice of stonks too. This next chart shows you the total portfolio performance. This portfolio has at least green numbers over all the time frames shown here. And that's better than the imaginary Elon portfolio at the moment. If you are starting to get convinced to invest in this exact portfolio, then there is also a breakdown of this portfolio distribution in the sectors and industries. And below that are the actual stocks where you are going to invest in if you want to follow this sparks to the letter. And as you can see, these are indeed the meme stocks within their own sections, like GameStop, Tesla, Roblox, Apple, Nvidia and 30 other well-known and often spoken about stocks. This list can be shown with different columns if you click on the selections here at the top. All the way at the right here, there are some other options to change this overview. For example, you can change the currency in US dollar, Add additional rows at the bottom of this table to view summaries. And you can also do a grouping of these stocks in their respective sectors, exchanges and more. If I go back to the price overview, then there is also a function where you can select the symbols that you want to see on the chart below this table. So if I select these stocks and scroll down, then I can see their performances on this chart below. Furthermore, there is a section where the upcoming earnings reports will be shown if they will be presented within the next 14 days. And finally there is a news section that will keep you informed about the latest news from the selected stocks above. Now all these Sparks have the same layout and information types and although TradingView states that these Sparks pages are regularly updated, you see here that none of these are updated regularly. And after the presentation of these Sparks pages, I want to finish this video with this heart. Many thanks for watching this video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment with a request of what to show in the future. And if you want to start a TradingView subscription, then please also use my affiliate link since this will also give you a $15 discount on the total subscription amount. For now, this is the end and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.